All right guys, so on part two, I installed uh, a grounding rod um, with the ground wire and everything that runs up. So here's the grounding rod just to kind of recap. Now again, my panel is probably 100 feet on the other side of the house. So instead of uh, running a wire all the way through, I decided that I was going to just, just pop a new uh, grounding rod in the ground here for this, for this installation. So again, grounding rod, grounding rod wire, um, it comes up, it goes into my uh, corner trim here. Now this is the ethernet cord. The ethernet cord is uh, what goes into the house over to the IT rack and then that's where the PoE injector goes. Um, so the two two wires that are running up right here kind of connected together are going to be again your ground your ethernet cord runs up the uh, the corner trim here and then up into my um, J channel in my siding. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from here but it's kind of tucked up in that J channel and then it goes all the way up to the peak underneath the soffit runs all the way up that that line in the J channel um, and then you'll see that that bundle of uh, uh, black wires up there that, that that's where it comes out so again ethernet cord pops out there the uh, ground wire goes up to the antenna and then the um, uh, antenna cable comes from the antenna down and they kind of bundle right there so that is where we're going to install the enclosure on the outside and then um, what we're going to do is we're going to jump up on a ladder now i'll take you up there we'll make the last few connections and uh go from there all right guys so now we're up on the ladder you kind of see it's it's pretty high so if you're going to be doing this make sure you're safe if you don't feel comfortable doing it uh probably hire somebody to do it but uh again you know safety always first uh make sure that you're nice and comfortable ready to go on your ladder but uh so we're going to install this um uh, enclosure right here um and then again we're going to run all our cords and everything down to it so let's get to work so first things first i'm going to get these cords kind of out of the way here as much as we can looks like it's going to be about it right there but, uh, all right so first thing we got to get the bracket and we got to put it on the wall so I think we got enough cord because uh, we're going to be down at the bottom here uh, yeah on this side so about like that there so I think we're going to go here and this is the uh, area that we're going to put the bracket so let's get that going so again uh, I got my little bucket here with a bunch of goodies in there so here's your bracket Alright guys, so now that we got the bracket installed, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, the actual miner kind of hooked up. Um, so I'm going to go up around here, hopefully we can still kind of see with the camera angles. Let's check it out. Alright, so here is our enclosure. Now again, we want to make sure that we got the ridges here and the ridges on the side here that match and they do so we put it the right way so that's a good thing so like i was explaining to you on the last video when you put this bolt in it's got uh it's made to take that bolt so that you don't have to use two different uh wrenches um so when we do put that through there Okay, and now that's just kind of hanging there, and let's get, washer, and the nut here, and then we'll kind of hold this thing up. Just 
All right, so we got that ready to go. in there nice and tight all right so now we'll make our connections all right so now on the top here again we got a n-type female so we'll take our cable here and we'll get this hooked up That's gonna hook direct to your hub on your enclosure. All right, so we got our antenna connected connection here. All right, let's bounce down a little bit and we'll get our ethernet set up. So we're gonna drop down one. Now again, um, part, uh, part three showed the enclosure and how it all goes together. So this is the hub where the ethernet connector goes in. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna kind of roll this piece out like this. Now, again, here's our ethernet cord. Now this splits apart again, so we're gonna go like this. And what you'll notice is there's the lock, I guess you call it a lock washer or a lock nut, um, but there's a rubber piece in here with a slit. It might be hard to see, um, but if you push it out like that, you can tell, okay? This goes around the wire. This goes around the wire once you got it through. And then that, once you screw this on, that crimps down on that. So first thing you're gonna do is take your outermost piece or lock washer, whatever you wanna call it, and we're gonna slip it through here. It's gonna slip over like that. Okay. And we're gonna take our rubber piece. That's gonna be next. Slip it over the cord like that. Okay. Now this piece again, where you see all these slits out here, you want to make sure that that goes this way. Again, I got very heavy duty cord cat six for outside, so supposed to be a little bit difficult, but that's okay. Okay. Now in here there's actually a jack that this goes into. So see if we can get it first shot here. So that clicks in like that. Now, you're going to screw this piece in. Okay. So that's good there. Now your little rubber grommet, you're going to try to get it in there. Get it in there as far as you can. Again, my wire's a little bit thick, so I might be hitting that in there. At any rate, pop this up. Screw that down now. Now 
hope you can see. I'll try to go down one here. Look a little bit up. See how that kind of squeezes that in. So now that's weather tight. So the last connection that we got to make is we got to make a ground connection from here up to our ground wire. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take some ground wire here. Like so. And we're going to straighten it out. that now let's take this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut strip the end off So now what we gotta do is make a little ring here so that we can get it around that. Kind of like so. Now, when you go to screw this in again, you're gonna screw it in, right? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So what you wanna make sure is that when you're spinning it, that your hook goes the same way. So if I'm spinning it this way, I want my hook to go that way. And then that way it doesn't strip, it doesn't pull out of the thread when you're doing it. Um, so we're gonna open this up a little bit more, okay? Put that on there. Okay. Now it might be hard to see, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of use my pliers and make sure that that goes all the way around that screw, like so. All right. And then now we're going to screw this in. It's on there nice and tight. All right, so now that we got our ethernet connection and our uh, ground connection set up, what I'm gonna do is, let's actually do a little bit of house cleaning here real quick. Kind of get some of these cables cleaned up. And then I'll show you how to make that ground connection up, up to the, uh, the ground up there. So I'm gonna bounce up a little bit here. So, we're going to kind of roll this up a little bit. And what I think we're going to do is we're going to end up mounting that kind of right there. Like so. But uh, for now, let's get these, uh, let's get these couple connections up and uh, kind of clean them up a little bit. So we know we're going to bring our ground up here. ethernet cord what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw one here on the bracket like so before we get all three of these set up right here So now we got our cable bundle kind of 
in a good area. And let's cut this one off here. And this one here. Again, just a little housekeeping. So now from there I can kind of start figuring out, you know, like I'll do another one right here. Like so. Do one more right there while we're at it. end up probably putting one right here and one right here and then screwing these into the wall but for now we're going to show you now how to get this ground connection in uh, let's put this on the back side of this wire so but basically what we're going to do is we're going to end up doing something like this and kind of tying those two together so i think at this point i'm comfortable cutting this one pretty much down to size like so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do kind of what I would call an inline connection so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove a little bit of the the green protection here and then we're gonna actually gonna twist that in um, and then run a little black tape around it that way it's uh, it gets protected but so let's take a look at where we're at so we're going to be kind of about right here so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of rotate our cutters a little bit there and we'll give it enough room here right in there somewhere Now you can see there's kind of two spots there. And what we'll do is we'll take our knife and we'll shave this off like this. Like so there, and we'll be able to peel that right off. So now we got a little bit of an exposed area there. Yeah, let's take a look. So we probably get a little bit less here. Gonna be there. So basically, we're gonna strip this back, but I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter here. real quick so now that we're stripped back we can kind of loop this in here That's, that's pretty sufficient there again there's connectors and things that you can get um, I don't really think that that's necessary I mean that's a good enough connector there so we're gonna grab some black tape we're gonna run through that real quick Yeah, 
Let's wrap this around here and get this real good. I mean, I suppose you could shrink wrap this and do all that kind of stuff, but I think we're good here. All right, so now we'll kind of bend this back like so yeah I think we got enough play here I think we're good I can see the moon. hey buddy it's my little three-year-old my seven-year-old she just finished up first grade Super proud of that girl. But at any rate, so we're gonna kind of get this going here. Again, you don't really have to do this, but that's just kind of I like everything kind of short up, so. And who knows, maybe six months down the road I'll have to come up here and redo this black tape. But either way. I'm doing it. I like everything clean. So we're going to get some uh, waterproof tape. Now again, this comes with the uh, with the enclosure. So let's open it up. Good amount here. Now you just cut this thing with scissors. Set that back down. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sneak this through here. Get that as close to the base as possible. See it just kind of goes like so. Just 
but that's about it guys so this thing's installed now um, again just to kind of recap you got your ethernet cord here you got your ground underneath let's see if I can get in the camera ground underneath there and uh, ethernet there come up the back and I got that connected here kind of bundled together and all this again goes into the enclosure for your antenna cable and I got my antenna cable antenna cable or this is the ethernet cord the antenna cable or excuse me ethernet cord ground antenna cable all kind of bundled together and then right here kind of branches off with the different uh, different ways they go but this is your antenna cable that's your ethernet and your ground running down and then ether uh uh, antenna cable goes up and up to your uh, your antenna up there um, but yeah that's all you got to do to install it and then once we get the miner then we'll come up here and we'll lose a bunch of screws <laughs> but uh, we'll back these screws out we'll get everything kind of connected on the inside and because I ran PoE I got power and uh, and internet up here now so So guys that's about it uh you know we got the enclosure installed it run you know the ethernet cable runs down the, uh the next uh next part of this video i'm gonna actually go on the inside and we'll we'll take you take you through how to install the the ethernet cord and the poe injector um to wherever your internet source is at um, but that's how we do it and uh you know how's that for line of sight i don't know there's a bunch of trees everywhere but We'll see how it goes. Um, now I know I got one hot spot directly that way. Yeah, about right there. He's about a mile and a half away. And then if we look the other way, directly out that way, there's actually three. Um, now I'm in a part of Michigan. I'm only about 10 miles from Canada. So if you go that way 10 miles, you, you run over the the river and you run into Canada so there's three on the way that way so hopefully with this antenna set up I'll be able to pick up uh, anywhere from four to six that I know are around me and then uh, again my end game will be installing IOT devices out in these agriculture fields and these corn fields and tractors and asset management and all that fun stuff so more videos to come on all that but again I'm Drew the helium new thank you guys for joining today if you haven't already done so please hit that subscribe button and uh we'll catch you on the next one thanks